Not quite sure what we're doing today. Joe just said, put a shirt on and head to the front room. So I'm all in. Hopefully, we're not eating something weird. But I always get a little bit nervous when he doesn't tell me what we're doing. Because then I'm afraid we're eating something weird. Are we eating something weird? What? Are, are we eating something weird? I don't know. We'll is, find out in a couple minutes. Is it like pig lips? Could be. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos. We do mysterious product reviews. Oh, is that what we're doing? We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, whatever it is, you'll be alerted to it. I'll give you a hint. You need a spoon. Well, you know what? I start. I'm starting to feel you better. You know they already know because they saw the thumbnail, right? Well, but I don't know because I haven't <laughs> seen the thumbnail yet. But I do see a Publix bag, which means that there is a limit to how weird this could be. It's probably not a kangaroo. That's true. We're probably not eating a kangaroo. We got some yogurt. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, we got yogurt. Thank you, Lord. A lot of people have been asking us about this yogurt. Keto so ratio. This is from Ratio, okay. which we actually had their bar in the keto crate, and it was really good. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this is Ratio keto friendly yogurt. I have three flavors. We have strawberry. vanilla, strawberry, and black cherry. I have always loved cherry yogurt, but of course, I'm a yogurt, a, a fruit on the bottom yogurt. Guy. I am a fruit on the bottom. Strawberry was my jam. Not surprising. Okay, so sure where are we starting? Want, sure you don't want grape? They don't have grape. I looked. They had coconut, but... Let's do... Let's well, start with strawberry, strawberry. Okay. Vanilla in the middle. All right. Black cherry day. Like vanilla to cleanse the palate. Cleanse the palate. All right. Is there fruit on the... bottom? smell strawberry. I smell it. Yeah. Okay, Is so... fruit on the bottom? First thing we're going to go... We're mixed together. We're going to taste. But before we even do a taste... I like that. Nice. That, okay, so I've really worked hard to not look at the ingredients. There you go. Well, like I said, is there fruit on the bottom? Or no, there's no fruit okay. on the bottom. Okay, so it's all. But the way I do through. like this. I, that's that's important to me because I like very thick, almost like sour cream kind of yogurt. Me too. Wow, oh, that's delicious. That is a little sweet for me. I like it. I like it sweet. If I'm going to eat a flavor, let's go in there. I taste almost like jelly. It's a little chalky at the end. At least I'm getting that. I don't end. know. I'm still enjoying the strawberry because that is a real it's strawberry got flavor. It's really good strawberry flavor. A real strawberry flavor. Let's go vanilla. Hard to come by. Same test. Good job. Uh, okay. Wow. That is sweet. I was not expecting it's it. It's a little too sweet for me. I mean, I'm worried that it's going to trigger my sweet tooth. Mm. Like, this is the sweetest yogurt. This is like ice cream sweetness. I, it really is. I honestly just want to freeze that guy and we'll and we'll see you later. Between this, this consistency. Is a yeah, this is like a, a mousse pudding dessert. Yeah. Like, like, this is almost the consistency of like a frozen yogurt and that sweet too. Wow, that may be the best vanilla, though, I've ever had. I mean, all of your sweetener and, I mean, it's very vanilla-y. Usually vanilla it's, is it's, plain. But it's it's not like a vanilla flavor, like a vanilla bean. It, it's like a sweet vanilla. What was the other, like, what? what's the other two? Too, too good. Too good. Didn't like that one at all. Ooh. This one nailed vanilla. Yeah, didn't like that too good at all. This one, I don't know, maybe we needed to mix it, but this one doesn't have that. I guess it's still there. Oh, it's, it, but it's, it's, it's dangerous. a little bit watier. Right? Mm hmm. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. If you like black cherry, 
It's wow. A, it's almost like there's a soda in there, right? Wow. It tastes like black cherry soda. Wow. Wow. Okay. Five things. Five things. So if you're new to it, that was not a good one. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one. Let's get into the ingredients. Okay, uh, I'm gonna let you handle ingredients because it's kind of like blurry to me. Some of them are better than others. That's so, so go funny. ahead. This is really funny. Always consult your physician before starting an eating plan that involves the regular consumption of high fat food. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, so the ingredients are pasteurized, ultra filtered, non fat milk, pasteurized milk, milk fat, avocado oil, natural flavor, salt, beet juice, concentrate, sucralose, that's why it's so deliciously sweet, mm -hmm. and cultures. Okay, so the vanilla one has pretty much all the same thing with the exception of uh, it doesn't have beet juice because they're using that for color. Okay, so wait and a it's second. it's the same thing here. I just realized I did not say the word strawberry. So this is... It's natural flavors. It's the natural flavors. Which is nothing natural about natural flavors. But there's no like actual strawberry. Okay, so here's my, my personal opinion on the ingredients. The ingredients are good. Okay. However, I don't understand their logic behind this. I guess they're trying to keep it lower fat because they're using non-fat milk and then milk. And then milk And fat. then adding avocado oil. Right. So they're obviously adding the avocado oil for a little bit of creaminess and to up the fat, but they're using non-fat milk. Now, I know I'm a little biased. You are. But we're gonna talk about this again in a couple more steps as well. But we have a recipe to make your own yogurt at home. Link right there, right? Yes. And it's got two ingredients. It, it, technically, you could have three ingredients, but it could have two ingredients. The ingredient is the same first thing, ultra filtered milk. There's really two brands out there. There's like one from Organic Valley, and then there's the Fair Life. Right. Okay, that's one ingredient. Uh -huh. Buy the whole milk. Yep. Okay, you don't wanna buy the non-fat, you want the whole milk. Yeah. And the second ingredient that we add to up the fat is mm -hmm. heavy whipping cream. But you can leave that one out. And then the other ingredient that you have to have is some yogurt. Now you could use this, but yeah, there's sweetener could. in this. Yeah. We like to buy the Fahe or Fage. How do you pronounce that? Fahe? Whatever. Hey. Whatever that is. F-A-G-E, right? Yes. Whole milk, two tablespoons of that. That's all you need and a pressure cooker or a sous vide machine. And boom, it's done. You get it done without having you could have some avocado oil, three different kinds of milks, and all those other things. You can have some nut milk bags. Or you can have some, or you can have a yogurt strainer, but you like nut milk bags. Nut milk bags. Okay. So ingredients are good, but it could be better. Yeah. I don't understand the, I don't understand using non-fat milk and then avocado oil. But I'm not knocking the ingredients. No. But I wonder if they want more of a yogurt, regular yogurt, dieters yogurt that we're used to flavor versus a Greek yogurt. They're still worried about the fat. Because this so, is this is this is as thick it's as pretty ours. thick. This is as thick as ours. Let's talk about number two. Okay. Does a keto based on a nutrition label? I got this one. Okay. So a serving size is one container, two hundred calories, fifteen grams of fat, fifteen grams of protein. That's where it's. See, they're trying to keep that fat pro. They're trying to keep the fat down. Mm -hmm. Our recipe is going to give you higher fat. Um, but again, you can lower that by not using heavy whipping cream. Yeah. And then two total carbohydrates. Very nice. And uh, zero dietary fiber, zero sugars, and they're using sucralose as the sweetener. Mm -hmm. So we're all good there. It does keto based on a nutrition label. Again, they're doing equal fat to protein. That's not bad. I'm not complaining about it. This is a move in the right direction. This is, this is really good. Much better than too good. Yes. Number three, uh, how does it taste? They it, taste delicious. It kicks the two... One, I can't, I'm having Too like good a, yogurt. a brain like block. I don't like, I didn't like them at all. I think that that's what it is. Like, we'll leave I a just, review for that over here. I just did not like the taste of it that and much. And you didn't like the texture. Remember it was because of the gums. If, There's no gums in this. I'm glad about that. What you say that there was a little bit of chalkiness. I did not experience that. Only on that flavor. On the strawberry. Maybe it was a, the strawberry thing for you. But 
it had a great mouthfeel and the the taste though is explosive to the point if you're the type of person that likes things a little weaker you're gonna feel like you need to dilute this because yeah. i mean the flavor is action packed well that's what i'm gonna say i'm gonna say taste is on point if anything a little too sweet if you've been doing keto for a while like me three and a half years you're gonna find this very sweet so we have gotten because um like the first person that comes to my mind is is keto in the chaos because she enjoys the fahe yogurt and then she'll squirt some like meal in it because she wants a flavor of some sort i almost feel like you would take a spoon of this and this is the flavoring and go yeah. flavor it's, another yogurt it's with that it flavorful. it's that flavorful okay so number four how much does it cost and this is where we're going to jump back to our recipe because okay. are you ready for this yes five bucks Wow. That, to me, yeah, is expensive. Well, I mean, if you're initially starting up, though, making our yogurt, that may seem daunting to people. Okay, but well, here's what I'm going to say. This is $5. $5. Like, people talk about price. Like, that's a dollar and a half, right? That's that's a lot of money for, for this little BC yogurt. You could make... With our recipe, mm -hmm. and again, I know I'm a little biased, but I could make 12 of these for $7. But again, it's the mental startup. But again, watch that recipe. It's and super it's easy. And mix two ingredients, throw it in a pressure cooker, and let it sit there. And now that we don't use nut milk bags anymore, we use a I yogurt you, strainer. Bags. But it's literally put it in a pressure cooker, let it sit for eight hours, pull it out, put it in a strainer. And then 24 hours later, scoop it into little cups. It's kind of easy. And then any flavor you want, you can use OO drops, which is all they're using is natural flavors. And then you can put whatever sweetener you want, whether you want to use um, uh, liquid sucralose, you could use Splenda, uh, not Splenda, um, monk fruit? Stevia, liquid monk fruit, anything like that. So again, not bad. I think it's a little expensive because I know you can make it so easy at home. But I'm telling you what, I'm grabbing this and then going with it. Yeah. I think this is the perfect thing that like you're out and about, you're you're going to, you know, a picnic. You don't have time to make something. Well, let's you talk, know, we're on number five. So let's talk about number five. Would, would we recommend, recommend it? Yes, you're going to Disney World for the day and you're throwing this into the bag because the kids are gonna freaking love this. It right. tastes like dessert. So with all of my knocks on, I think it's expensive. And I mean, I know that sounds weird because I don't think it's expensive when you pay $3 for a bar. No. Because I, I can make this myself. But with all my knocks that I think it's expensive and I don't understand the the use of low fat milk or non-fat milk and then adding avocado oil, I would absolutely recommend this if you don't have time to make our recipe. Yeah. Or if you're, like you said, on the go, like, hey, I'm out on the road, I need something, I'm gonna run in the grocery store, what do I grab? I think this is a good option. I also think that if you are like, hey, I've got somebody's coming over and I need a fancy, quick, like dessert type of thing, this would make a this great parfait. The only place where I'm gonna say I wouldn't recommend it is it could mm -hmm. trigger your sweet tooth. Oh, I yeah. definitely can see this, this because you get triggered very easily. I can see this triggering you, and the next thing you know, like everything's getting squirts of monk fruit, squirts squirt, of stevia, because squirt, squirt. I'm that way, yeah. right? So it could trigger you. So it, I did not see any plain versions. I would love to see this, honestly, in a plain, unflavored plain version. They At least our store did not have that. But I could totally, like I would like to do this and a cup of black coffee. So let's say I'm trying to make the transition, not put so much stuff in my coffee, but I'm I'm craving sweetness when I'm drinking my coffee and stuff. This and a yogurt, a coffee and a yogurt, this right. would be very, very nice. Yeah, but just remember, like, this is not a meal. 200 calories, like, no. you, need, you need more food. Couple eggs. So the only other place I wouldn't recommend it is if you're gonna eat a yogurt every day, if you're gonna eat yeah. it on a regular basis. Make your own. Go make your own. You're going to save so much money and you know the exact ingredients that are in it. You get to control the flavor. You get to control the sweetness, that kind of thing. But, but I, overall, I think it's a really good product. And I run into a lot of moms that give their kids yogurt every day. I mean, they just give them the little, you know, go-gurts 
type things oh, every single day. Yeah, no, give them Swap this. it out. Swap it out for this. And their bar, remember that bar was really good. It, it was, was like I could crazy take good. one of their bars and crumble up just a piece of it and put it in the top of this. Parfait. Who don't like a parfait? Yeah. Was that Donkey said that from Shrek? Who doesn't like parfait? Okay, well, that's going to be the end of this video. Now, if you've tried this yogurt, let us know down below. What's your favorite flavor? Let us know what your favorite flavor is. Let us know if there's a flavor that we don't know about. Our Publix had four flavors. It had strawberry, vanilla, black cherry, and coconut. And I'm like, yeah, coconut. I bet the coconut's really good. I'm sure good. it's really good, but I would love to see a plain. I'd love to know if they have a plain one out there. You know which one I could never eat if they come with one? Peach. Because the I don't peach, like peach, I don't like peach, and I bet the peach would punch you right in the face. I like I liked peaches, but I never liked peach yogurt, peach iced tea. I that don't kind of think stuff. that peach yogurt and an actual peach taste anything like each other, right? No, serious. So if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of our other review videos, which you're gonna find right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon, and that way, relief, we taste something delicious. You'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.